proud misery stands at our power door. A slam as a wallow wand, and by their calls, a gardener lad with a red rose in his hand, his hand. Here's My Heart Come Take It is my third solo album. Um, the first two albums that I recorded solo albums, I um, very much prepared, arranged, knew exactly what I was doing before I went into the studio. So this time around I wanted to do it slightly differently. Um, I wanted to just go in and put layers on, have ideas as they came and I wanted to trust myself to just come up with things at the time because I think some of my best ideas happens in that way um, and I wanted it to be honest and just quite kind of from the heart I suppose um, so I, that was important and I just I wanted to have that challenge as well I wanted to do it differently because what's the point in doing the same thing twice we were both quite excited about not working up too much first uh, like beforehand because we had the first week or five days, uh, just the two of us here. So uh, to kind of lay the groundwork to everything. And uh, we've been working together for quite a long time now and um, understand each other really well. We have the same kind of taste and sensibilities really. Yeah, so we just started to layer it up, the electro harp doing the bass and me playing drums and some guide vocals to kind of point us in the right direction of things. And then we just, yeah, just layering it up with different harps and pianos and keyboards. Uh, and then we had uh, the amazing Lauren come in for a couple days and put her brush strokes on the painting, uh, which made it you know, totally come to life in a, in a new way. And then we had a day with the lovely Mikey Hours, um, who came and, and, and played a bunch of horns, sousaphone, bass trombone, trombone, and flugelhorn. And nothing, not, none of his parts were written out uh, for him either. He took, uh, he took ideas from Rachel and myself and added his own stuff and it was really organic the whole thing was was it was the way that i wish every record that i made was like i, su I suppose one of the the benefits of coming in you know kind of last to the process almost is that you've got a such a strong idea of the sound to work with um, and it is quite fun just getting the cans on and getting stuck in and, you know, it's almost like playing along with an album in your bedroom. You can just 
be a bit more free with it. Um, and I suppose since Rachel doesn't play, you know, she's not playing really strong chords on the harp, it's a lot of riffs and a lot of bass lines. There's a lot of scope for just finding little lines that weave in and out, but yeah, I think we came up with something that was that worked in the end. The great thing about Rachel is because she plays the fiddle, she's got these lines in her head and she's always got a strong idea of, of what she what she wants to hear. Um, and I think after working with her for a few years now, I've got more of an idea of what it is she wants and hopefully we find a, a common a balance between what, what she wants to hear and a little bit of my input too. But um, yeah, sometimes the studio situation can be a little stressful. <laughs> What I really enjoy about being in the studio now is just that idea of just trying things out and kind of piecing things together as you go. Um, because actually lots of really interesting stuff comes out of that. And also because I've worked with Lauren and Matty um, in the trio for a couple of years now and I feel like they really know what I am about and I wanted their input, I suppose. I wanted them to kind of play what they wanted a little bit more. Um, as well, so that was really important. I'll do it double F. I might change the chords. I mean, I love ballads, traditional ballads, because, you know, they're telling the story of something that's happened, but it might, you can kind of take what you want from that, like you can kind of interpret it as just the story, or you can kind of see something beyond that. Um, and I just think they're really strong, and like the imagery is really strong, and I love taking those songs and doing something different with them. And I feel like that's my strength, I suppose. That's what I feel like I'm about. Kind sir to be my say so. I choose a single life. I never thought it suited for me to be your wife. So take this for an answer and for yourself provide. I loved you once, my darling, but now you're laid aside. 